Matt says, has anyone noticed that Microsoft is making the MFA, the multi-factor authentication method, mandatory for M365 applications? If there is no response, settings will be set automatically. Is this information correct? Does someone know more? Yes and no. I should say no and yes. <laughs> there you go, people. Is this information <laughs> correct? No, it is not correct. It is not correct. They're not forcing MFA. Do elaborate, Hal. Uh, they are uh, they are doing that for Azure AD logins, um, but they're not forcing MFA. That whole concern is all about them turning off basic auth, which means anything that you need to do to talk to email or the like has to understand OAuth, or it has to be able to use a uh, an app specific password. But there is no forcing. Uh, at least in the state of the world of the Office 365 applications, there's no forcing to MFA. That's the organizational level. If your organization has turned it on and enforcing it, which that's many different do, then yes, right, that's different. Yep. Yeah, I get asked this on a pretty regular basis, and so I'm constantly kind of reviewing and making sure there's nothing that's getting changed. Um, and as far as I know, I 100% agree with how it's, I mean, it's not being forced. There's actually, it's actually optional. So your MFA settings are all optional. You can go in and enable and dis disable them at any time. Just remember that if you switch that, the thing you need to remember is that sometimes um, if that authentication has been tied up around an MFA um, in the past, enablement in the past, um, then there's going to be kind of like, things that are left over, artifacts that are left over from that. So if you're going to switch from enable to disable for one or more people, you should sign them out from all applications when you do that so that they can sign back in and they don't like have those hanging things from the MFA pieces all over the place. Um, otherwise, they're going to call you and you're not going to be a happy camper. So exactly. um, you get to choose that. Just make sure that you're going to do that when you change it. That's much more specific than me just saying ex expect flakiness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, most, correct, most organizations yeah. will yeah. enforce it yeah. and they'll communicate it using the same mechanism that you're probably already pre filtering already because you get too many messages from your central IT group. So you may want to check in to see if MFA was rolled out within your organization. You know, I've remarked over the last several weeks about how, I mean, I've noticed just a huge spike in in spam and in phishing attempts that have gotten through the uh, Microsoft 365 security layer. So it's a, it, it, I mean, go in and look at your, your junk and look at it from an admin level. It's just shocking the volume that's there and the things that are still getting through. It's interesting, and and Hal tried to help me out here, but uh, you know, for my tenant, I had from all the accounts, uh, I had one where MFA was not turned on, and that's the one that got hacked, and was able to uh, get everything and lock it down. But it, you know, just it was a headache there for a couple days, um, and uh, and turned it back on. And I just remember it was one of those where it was turned off because of something like installing some older program or something rather where it was causing an issue so turned it off temporarily forgot to turn it back on bam yeah so, yeah. so i think the biggest tips and tricks that i i mean i know it's not specifically answering this question but it kind of goes along with this question is that tips and tricks are um, always have a backup account that's not used day to day um, that it, it has an admin level clearance so that you can get back in if you need to um, always have MFA tied to your admin accounts and use PIM um, as much as you possibly can so that you can basically escalate only when needed. So like you really shouldn't, nobody should really ever need admin day to day. Like you should be able to say, if you need this admin level, you should be able to um, elevate your credentials up whenever you need to. And then that way they automatically bounce back when you're done. Um, and I think, you know, if you kind of just follow some best practices around security, you're going to massively lower the risk of anybody being able to get in and, and mess with your stuff.